So what I'm going to talk about here real quick is how to step through a web worker in Chrome DevTools and then um, using the example of a heap snapshot profiler that you can use in DevTools. So what I'm going to do, here's just a basic web page. Um, I'm serving locally. Doesn't show much. It's, again, this is in Chrome version what? Something 31 something. So the first thing I want to do is open up DevTools for this guy. So you go to View, Developer, Developer Tools. What this does, it opens it up the Developer Tools app. Again, this is just a basic little JavaScript CSS HTML app. I mean, you're doing some fancy stuff, but that's all it is. It's watching this page. Um, you can kind of poke around and look at various properties of the page, um, do some cool stuff. One of the things that I'm interested in doing here that I think is kind of cool, you can take a heap snapshot that will show all the things in memory, um, all the variables, um, th closures for the functions, things like that. Um, and what I would like to do is jump in and step through the code that happens when you click this take snapshot button. This is really easy to do because what you can do is open DevTools on this web app. This is just really a web page even though they've done some stuff to make it not look that way exactly. So what you do, make sure this is selected and you go to developer, developer tools it opens up another instance. It looks like the same thing, but it's not. This guy is watching this page. And you can see that by going over here. This is the HTML for that page that's showing right now. You can kind of look and see what the stuff is. You can do inspection on what that stuff is. It'll show where it is in the DOM. You can change things on that button all sorts of stuff, make it change stuff. It's pretty cool. But one thing, the reason what I'm going to do here is boom, have it stop because what it does, when you click this button, it um, fires off a web worker to do all the work so that it doesn't slow down the user interface. And web workers are cool and very fast, or they can seem, they can seem to be because they let the user interface do the stuff while they're working. So what, happened, what I did here, I clicked this, it says, hey, when a web worker stop, starts, pause. So that we can then step through. So here we go. I'm going to make him a little bigger. I'm going to click take snapshot. And again, I've got this set to pause on start in this other instance that's watching this guy. So, boom, Whew. he's paused. It's opened up yet another instance of um, the DevTools and kind of looks a little ugly there, but what you can do is click this pretty print down here. That makes it look a little nicer. And what we are, we are kind of stopped right here at that line. You can step through as it's doing its thing, build in the heap snapshot filter. Boom, 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 boom whatever you can set breakpoints I have a breakpoint set so if you can continue this here it actually hits that breakpoint you can see the um, call stack you can keep popping through don't boom, 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 do whatever look at things um, I think it's a great way to learn how this this stuff's working I, I think it's really cool so I'm gonna let it keep going boom. now it got the heap snapshot and again this is watching this page. So this is all the objects associated with that page and actually it's, what you, you can see it if you go down in here you can see some of the things that it does. So that's it. Um, good luck doing your own stuff and I think DevTools is cool and you can learn so much about JavaScript just playing around with it.